Google AI mode is a game changer for search engine result pages. This is the most different I've seen Google do things in almost 20 years that I've been following Google and dealing with search engine optimization. So in this video, I'm gonna show you Google AI mode, how it operates, what it looks like, the ins and outs, how you can get access to it. And at the end of the video, I will share what this means for your website, because we believe that search engine result pages on Google might actually look exactly like this in a couple of years. This is probably the future of Google search and Google's just experimenting with it. So I got access to Google AI mode by going to Google Labs. And to do so, you have to go to google.com and then you click on this beaker icon in the top of the screen and then you can opt in on this screen. And so I tried to use AI mode and actually wouldn't let me and I couldn't figure it out for a while. And finally, I realized Google wants you to give it access to your search history and your search behaviors, which I don't have turned on because I don't really want to do that. However, if you go into the settings on Chrome and come to the screen here, you can actually enable it. And I didn't enable it for a lot of other platforms that Google had, just Google itself. Okay, so let's jump in and see how AI mode works. So I'm just on google.com. Obviously, I'm going to make a query. Let's just say how to make coffee. And I'm going to do a search. Okay, we see the search results right now as they are. You've probably seen something like this before. We have this AI overview at the top, and this is something Google's done in the last couple of years. AI mode is like taking that and making it the entire search results page. So up here in the upper left, I have AI mode. I'm going to click on that and you can see, okay, now we have how to make coffee and Google thought about it a little bit and now it gives you the answers. And over here on the left-hand side, tells you everything you need to know to make coffee. And then on the right-hand side, we actually have the pages from which it pulls. And you can see they're fairly large. A lot of them have screenshots. So this is a layout that's very, very similar to the search engine Perplexity, which has been growing a lot lately and becoming more and more popular. And because of platforms like ChatGPT and Perplexity and other AI platforms, Google has to do this. Google has to jump into this arena because it needs to remain competitive. And it knows that just the traditional search results pages that it has now might not be enough for the future. Let's try another search here. Let's look for where is the lowest altitude on earth? And again, Google's thinking about it and it comes up with the answer. So here you can see it's pulling from Wikipedia again, from Quora, from National Geographic. And as we scroll down, it gives us the answer. Um, you'll notice that answers are usually fairly brief when it does this sort of thing. Let's search for what happens to your heart rate when you sleep. Again, Google thinks about it. So sometimes it takes a long time to think about these things. It's in beta, of course, but sometimes it takes as long as like 30 seconds or so. Sometimes it's fast. So it just depends. And again, we see these results over here from different uh, organizations. I like that it's very clear. You know, when you do a search on a platform like ChatGPT, it will also cite sources, but the links are very small. And sometimes it's just a link icon. So I appreciate that these are larger and I like that it's um, giving some good credit at least to these websites. And, you know, as marketers, we want this. We work really hard to put this content together. We want people to go and click on our links and view our websites. You know, Google's using all of our websites just as its personal database, and it's not paying us for it. I wish it would, but at least it's giving us some decent visibility here. Unlike, you know, sometimes like in its Gemini AI search, Google sometimes gives no credit at all, or just gives a really small little link icon. Um, so this is good. This is good that it's doing that at least. One thing you can do here, I asked what happens to your heart rate when you sleep, is you can say something like during the middle of the day and Google AI mode remembers the last search you did. It remembers the context of the searches that you've had uh, when this tab is open and it can answer accurately. So that's kind of nice. So that's just an example of the AI uh, playing in here. So, you know, again, we feel like this may be the future of Google search results, something like this. Obviously, Google's taking it seriously because it's doing experiments on it. And, you know, 
a couple of years in the future, when you click on google.com and do a search, you'll probably get a screen like this intended instead of the traditional blue links. However, you know, your website is still incredibly important because that's the source from which this information can come from. And it's imp incredibly important these days to create really great, unique content. So what does this mean for your website? It means you have to continue to create really great copy, text, images, experiences on your website. And Google is really interested in grabbing fresh, original content that's written for your target audience. That's not duplicate. It doesn't exist elsewhere. It's really well written. It's clear. When you write, you have really clear headings, H1s, H1 at the top and then H2s throughout. And you're answering questions that your target audience might have. You know, you're not just talking about your products and service, although that's important, but you're also creating content on your website that answers the questions, that satisfies the queries that your target audience might have. You're giving away your expertise. That's one of the ways you can break into Google AI mode, into ChatGPT, Gemini, Grok, any AI platform. The quality of the content on your site, the originality is just as important as it's ever been, if not more so. Another way to break in is to put together really good YouTube videos because in our testing AI mode draws from YouTube videos a lot as well. That's also important. And another thing you can do is put really good schema code on your website. This is semantic search code. It's something that we do for all of our clients and it's really handy. It's really great. It's basically like a shortcut for search bots, for AI bots, it tells them what the page is about so they don't have to scan the entire thing to make that determination. It shortens the journey for the search bots, for the AI bots, which platforms really like. And we found that that can help you show up in AI platforms like Google AI mode. So there's a few tips for you. I hope that's helpful. If we can help you show up in Google search, in Google AI mode, in AI platforms like ChatGPT. This is a huge focus of our organization. We're a digital marketing firm. We do this every day. We get more visibility and quality traffic and conversions for our clients by doing this. So don't hesitate to reach out to Blue Compass. We would love to talk with you. Thanks. Talk to you next time.